Hi everyone. Just wanted to show you the completed journal. So you guys, if you have this book already, if I made you one and sent one, the blank book, or you've downloaded it from my website, the tutorial on how to make this book um, by itself blank. This is just the a decorated copy of it, and we did a couple videos showing you some of the some of the things that I did in this book, so that you can follow along or take some ideas or whatever it is that that you want to do with it. But this is the finished version, so I had to figure out a cool way to bind it because this is actually a travel journal for me for um, Paris and so it obviously got like super thick so what I did was is I sewed on some of the crinkle binding that I made in the same color as the cover and then just wrapped it around my little knob here so it holds it nicely and then all I have to do is squish it down to take it off and put it on and I still have some more decorating to do on the inside of my book so it's not even as bad as it's probably going to end up being but as you can see these books can hold so much stuff there's so much room in there I don't know how well you can see that but and it's not even done yet I still have so much more to put in here anyway I'll just run through it really quick so that you can see all the stuff these pages here were already um, I showed them already, but just real quick, I'll go over them again. This, like I said, this is just our trip um, to Paris. We took our daughter, and so these are just. This is going to be my little travel photo journal, which I'm actually going to give to my husband, since he did most of the picture taking. He didn't get to be in a lot of the pictures. So here, we did the tutorial for this. It's it showed you how to make this and when I am finished I still have a lot of journaling to do I'll be journaling on the back of the tag and then these um, some of them I moved around in the book to make each page you know trying to keep them somewhat the same thickness so one side wasn't lopsided but every single one of these um, on the top has one of these in it and then I just decorated them. This stuff behind here is a journaling tag on the back and then as you know these pull out so so much room for photos. You can if you filled up every possible photo spot in here you'd have room for about 60 photos. This tag back here is just a journaling tag and this one opens up as you can see here is another one of the little 5x5 five five here another journaling spot here and this one is one, this one doesn't pull out, this is the one that we attached so this isn't a pull out one like the other one And then this, I curved this one into a something that looks sort of like a door, and then get to deal with all the shiny from all the pictures. But this was the tag pocket here, and there's a little journaling tag in here, and then there's a spot on the inside for me also to journal. And oh, there's another one back here. These were all the pullouts that we did. There's four because there's four pages total and then you also have I think I made four of these as well. I had you make four of these so you have four of those also to stick in places. But these particular ones here were attached to the book. These ones don't pull out. This is a pocket and then I put a tag. These are all interchangeable and in the tutorial it, sh it shows you like all the measurements for everything but all of these you can take and um, fit into either these pockets or the corner pockets the 5x5 five five mats I tried to make the book and this is just a journaling paper I have in here but I tried to make this book so that you can put these things real interchangeable this one here 
Another one that was also attached doesn't come off, but this had the two pockets. And this one I put some tickets in the pockets here and a little notepad in this one. And then when you open it up, I put spots here for journaling. And I use the black cardstock so that you can white, write in the, the white gel pens. And then this opens, these are still attached. And then there's the corner pocket in here with some more. This is for journaling and just a McDonald's thing from Paris. Monopoly. And then it all closes up. Up oh, in this one. This one I made a pocket on and I'm keeping some more keys in this one. And then on the other side is a picture of the one of the hotels that we stayed in while we were there. And then on this one here, I made it into pockets. Again, these pockets fit stuff, um, the 5x5 five five photo mats. But for this one, I just put a little and did some journaling on the back. It's just a tag with a picture. My, we went in November and it was cold. And she is a California girl, so she was very cold. This one here, um, I did the tutorial on so that you knew how to make this pocket and the tag that goes in it for journaling. And this is another pullout. And I still, like I said, I still have a few more places where I need to put some stuff, but that's another one. And then in this pocket, I'm just keeping some pamphlets and tickets to some places that we went to. And on this side here, opens. On this side, see when you have it this way, this is what this looks like closed. But then when you turn the page, you open this one first. And there's one picture here, one spot here. And you open it again, and you have this one here and this spot here. So there's several more picture spots. And then you have this one up here. And then on this one, there's a pocket here in the back, a corner pocket. And this one I put another one. And these are just tickets sticking out of the pictures, but this is another one of the ones where it flips open. And you have either side. And then when you're all done with it, it just closes back up. So the link for the blank book tutorial will be at the bottom of this video, so if you want to um, make one, you can you know, download that one. It's in my Etsy shop. You can also you can make as many of them as you want. And in the tutorial it explains how to change this book around so that every time you make it it'll be different. And like I said, fully decked out. You can fit 60 pictures in this plus, you know, all this other junk that I have in here. It's real real easy. This one I did some sew binding on the back because I didn't want any with with them getting real heavy on the inside. I didn't want any of them to come out. And this was super easy. Just poke holes in it and then use your you know a needle and some nice thick thread and just sew through each one of these um, here I'll even show you so that way if you want to try it yourself see on the inside where the binding is here that's where the sewing is in between these two pages and then in between these two pages and that helps to keep it really secure in there because you don't once it gets real real heavy the best glue in the world isn't going to keep it together and there it is. So I hope you enjoy it and download the tutorial and start making some stuff and then um, you know link to me. Show me what you make. I want to see I want to see what you do. Anyways, have a good night. Bye-bye.